people. This is my first video using my guitar. Usually I make gameplay videos, uh, but today I want to show you how to play a song, a very good song, one of my favorite albums, Mike Kroll's I Hate Jazz. Um, it's a pretty simple song, um, nothing too complicated here. In fact, the most complicated part isn't even a guitar chord. It's a synthesizer riff that they, 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 they can actually play on guitar. But, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna start it. Start off with an A power chord, but you don't play it like, like this, you play it like this. So, uh, fifth string E, seventh string A, and seventh string D. And then you go over here and you get a, a, a C sharp chord, which is, uh, fourth string A, sixth string D, and sixth string G. And basically what he does, um, he just goes. And then he goes down over here to a uh, F sharp power chord, which is, uh, uh second fret E. 4th fret A, 4th fret D. So it goes... And then, and then it starts over again. And um, then there's a synthesizer part. Um, it sounds better on a synthesizer than a guitar. Uh, but... Um, uh, I'm just gonna throw up a tab over somewhere over here, uh, cause it'll be too complicated if I just try to explain it using frets or whatever. And also the tab will look like it's actually really, really fast, you have to play it really fast, but, um, the tab's wrong. Uh, so it, it's just this. <laughs> It's just that, and uh, that just plays uh, sometimes through the song. Uh, it plays a couple times in the middle, uh, but if you have like a rhythm guitar or something with you, it's a nice little uh, riff they can belt out. Uh, so the chord progression sounds like this. <laughs> Again, that is a uh, that, that that's an A power chord, which is five seven seven. Then it goes down to a C sharp power chord, basically moving a half step down, but on the A string instead of the E. And that is a, uh, a four six six, uh, starting from A, and then back up to E. And that is a two four four on E A and D. So um, hopefully that helps. Uh, there aren't many tutorial videos for Mike Kroll's music. There's a couple chord sheets, but I've always found those to be not as helpful as videos. So, um, yeah. Epic.